friends, it's Trish. In today's video, we have another Timu haul for you. We would like to thank Timu for sponsoring today's video and for giving us a special discount on two of our favorite products exclusively for our viewers. You will find links in the description box below to save an extra 70% off on the cordless rotary tool that I received and an extra 70% off on the six piece storage boxes that Kay received. We also have an extra 30% off code for new users. Just use our code MAKE534. Now, let's haul y'all. Hey y'all, welcome to our channel. If you're new here, we hope you will subscribe and come back and visit us. Cherish and I do a lot of crafting here on Crafting Cousins, but today is a special video because it's being sponsored by Timu. Timu reached out to us and asked us if they could send us some products to review, and we're excited to bring those to you today. Timu sells a lot of things besides craft supplies. They sell clothing. They sell pet supplies. They sell home decor. They have lots of items, and I'm sure you will find something to fit your budget and style because everything is affordable, and they have a vast variety of items. So let's get right into the haul that I have for you today. Most of mine have to do with organizing my craft room. You can see it behind me and it's a little bit of a mess. Those of y'all who know, I just moved again and I moved to Texas. So what we're going to do is take those items eventually and that's going to be another video y'all and we're going to put them to good use here in my craft room. There's also going to be a code in the description box below, but also you'll see a code here on the screen and that will get you 30% off your very first order that you place on Timu. So don't forget about the code and don't forget to check out their website. All of those links along with today's products will be in the description box below. Let's get into this haul, y'all. So the first item I want to show you is rather large, so I have backed up it is a storage cube, and yes, it folds flat. It has two flaps at the top, y'all, that come up and separate so you don't have to use everything at once. It has this cute leather top trim. I'm pretty sure it's faux leather, but it's really nice quality. It says love and peace here, and it has like a little bow. I like the fabric on this. I love the soft pink because y'all know I'm crazy about pink. The storage bins come in three different sizes. This is the large, which is 19 and a quarter inches wide. That's the long measurement. It's nine and a half inches tall. That's how tall it is, nine and a half inches. And for the depth, I'm going to show you one open in just a second. I got three of these, by the way. The depth is 12 inches deep, which is perfect for those messy bookshelves right back there perfect width to put them in there and put all of your items. So does come in the three sizes. I had ordered some small ones to go on the shelf above the larger ones. And by the time I got my order in, they had uh, run out of them. So I'm gonna have to go back and order later because I really love the color and I do like the quality very much. Let me show it to you put together. This is it put together. It is a nice size storage. You can see it has these little handles on the side. It does fold flat. It does have two flaps that open here at the top. It does come with a piece that you can divide the inside of your piece into two separate compartments. And I'm going to do that with a couple of them and one of them I will just leave across and I'm gonna put some fabric in there probably. Hadn't totally decided. But this has Velcro and it will come in and out. You can put that in there. The flap has Velcro. The bottom is reinforced. It comes with a flat piece that you place in there before you place in the partition. It was $18.39 on the website the day that I ordered it. So $18.39, 19 and a quarter inches wide, nine and a half inches tall, and 12 inches is the depth. Before I show you the second item, I wanted to remind you of something. Timo is having a spring sale right now, and some items are up to 90% off. So you might want to check that out on their website. Don't forget, all those links are in the description box. But that'd be really cool, I think, to get 90% off some of their already low priced items. That is extraordinary. I think we could get our craft rooms looking great and have lots of storage. 
but also they sell lots of craft items as well, and I will show some of those in a little bit. The next item I got is really cool, y'all. The next item I got was four of these clear storage containers. They are 10 inches long across this way, six inches across here, and two and three quarter inches deep. For $23.15, you receive them in four. These are really neat items because they also sit inside each other and stack. So it stacks perfectly inside the one below it there. So that's really neat. They have these nice hand holds that you can pull items out on both ends. Now, if you're wanting something that's small like beads in here, you would need to cover up these holes probably on the end. You could just put some clear cellophane, but I love how these are perfectly see-through and you can find what items you're looking for. I'm thinking about putting some of my special ribbons in here. You'll have to wait and see that video actually what I do organize into them, but I'm pretty excited about it. I will be able to view exactly what I have. So cool. One other thing, did I mention when you shop on Timu, you can get free shipping. Who doesn't like free shipping? So the prices you see on the screen are the prices you get. And you also get free returns up to 90 days. Is that not cool? Free returns up to 90 days. Because I've changed my mind before. I have gone to a local store and bought lots of items that I thought I would store my crafts in. I get them home. They don't fit exactly right. And it's you know, I need to take a few back or I had just overbought and I didn't need that many. So that's really cool that you can send it back and you also get free shipping, free returns up to 90 days. The next item Timu sent me were these cute plastic clear storage containers. Here is one of them placed with the lid on top. It has these nice handles that come off on each side so that you can place your items in there. And if you're going to a prop or something, maybe you're a scrapbooker, you could place some of your small items. You've got a handle to carry it along, place it in the car, take it to your crop, bring it back out. Excellent storage. Very clear, um, not as clear as if it was glass, but these are nice and clear. You can see your items in there. And I have another thing for you. Guess what? Timu accepts your major, cre major credit cards and your debit cards payments, and you can even pay later on some of their items. You can go in and say, hey, by the way, my order is a hundred bucks and I'm going to pay $25 a month until I get it paid. Don't forget that because that's a nice feature as well. Let's talk about the size these are. These are four and a half inches wide. They are five inches tall and eight inches deep. They come six to a package. So when you buy them, you get six for $21.09. So here are my six that I received along with my lids. So I think that is a very good deal, very affordable. I am very happy with them. I'm happy with the quality. I'm happy with the see-through ability. And I'm happy that I'm going to get my items stored extremely well with these. And these are going to be items that... I do want to move around occasionally. For me, bring it to my craft table and set everything up and I do my craft for that day. And those items are similar. Put them back in my container, place them back on my shelf. Very convenient. Another thing I got to organize my craft room are these cord organizers. It has double-sided tape that you place onto the back, just peel and stick, place it down onto the item that you want to use it on, your glue pots, your cutting machines, wherever you have unsightly cords hanging, and it's awesome. It also has this little cutout area here on the front, and you place the part that goes into your electrical outlet for when you're storing it in your closet and bring it out later. Wonderful item to have, $2.06 for a package of three, so of course I got two packages, so I can get all those unsightly cords up off the floor, organized, and also for the one items I store in my closet and don't use every day. So these are invaluable. I'm looking forward to getting those cords put up nicely. And the last storage top item I got from Timu for my craft room is this 360 degree rotated kitchen hooks is what it's called. It was $1.98. It has this special plate that has uh, the double-sided tape on it. You peel that off, place it onto 
in my case, my bookshelf, and then this will slide onto the little piece that's there, and then you can place your tools on it and they can hang down. My idea for this is to use it for when I'm doing vinyl and HTV, and I can hang all my little implements, my scrapers, my pokey tools, and so forth onto this, and it just turns so easily and I can get the items that I need to use for that project. But I'm looking forward to using this. It also comes in white, so if you don't like the soft pink, White will be perfect for you, but of course, I chose the pink. I want to make sure you see it up close and you see all of the hooks at about, it's about four inches across. So if you were looking at how much room you would need, there's about four inches from tip to tip on the arms. So a really neat tool for $1.98, you can't go wrong, but it's sold for kitchen tools, but it's going to be perfect in my craft room. I also received this small pad of paper. It's about two inches by three inches. It was 98 cent and I was trying to finish out my order. And I think this will be really cute to use for tags, for labels on some of my items on my shelves. A lot of things you can use it for. You can use it in tuck spots and journals and so forth, like over on our paper crafting channel. So this will come in handy later on. It's got some beautiful patterns. Very pretty, but you get 50 sheets and it's pre-cut and you don't have to sit there and cut all those two by three pieces that you need. So there's a lot of things that can come in handy for. 50 sheets, already cut for you, 98 cent. Can't beat the price. The next item I got from Timu was some wood cutouts, and I'm really excited about these. They are six by four inches approximately. I can do all kinds of crafting projects with these, and you get 12 in here, they are six different ones, but you get a total of 12 for $7.98. That's a really good price. I did the math, and that comes out to about $0.67 cents each. And these will not warp. They're nice and thick, y'all. Great for crafting. Let me show you the different sizes. You have this type cut out, so you get two of those. Really pretty. There's the holes. Oh, and by the way, they even send you some twine to use in those holes to make your signs. Very fun. This is like a scalloped edge one. Looks kind of like a postage stamp. I like that. Well, I like all of them, honestly. And here is one. It has the points at the bottom and the top, and it's rounded on the sides. So lots of unique cutouts. I love these. Then you get a simple oval. That's fun. This one has the points on all four sides that come out. Could be a quadruple, but I'm not really sure, so don't quote me on that. But I think that's really cool. And then this one has the rounded edges straight across the bottom and the top, and then the little points at the side. So that's really neat. So six different patterns, and you get 12 of them. And again, they're very thick. They're not going to warp. Comes out to about 67 cents a piece. That's a great deal, y'all. That's a really good deal. And we make a lot of signs, and we enjoy that, so that's going to be fun. You can use these for your tear trays. So many things you can do. Very affordable, and that's what I love about Timu. They have got the crafter in mind when they sell their product. Y'all, the next item I got was also wood, and I'm going to be using it probably for my tear tray, but I have a few other things in mind coming up. And it came as 50 pieces. They're four inches by four inches wood coasters. Awesome for crafting with. And I'm so sorry that this is going to crinkle a little bit, but I don't want to remove it from the wrapping just yet because I need to organize it with some of my pieces that I got, all of my wood items. So I'm going to pick it up carefully and show you. They came in this nice package. I'm going to remove one. And here is the item. Really nice quality wood. That's not going to bow when you put Mod Podge on it or paint it and so forth like some items will if the wood's too thin. These are really nice. But 4x4, four four, 50 pieces, $13.28. Also did the math. That comes out to $0.27 cents for each one of these pieces. Very affordable. Y'all, you can't beat that. I can do so many projects with this package. I am looking forward to using these. The next item I got was this beautiful stamp that's going to be so lovely when I'm using it in my paper crafting. I'm looking forward to it. It seems to be a very nice quality. Five and a quarter inches by five and a quarter inches. Only a dollar and 98 cents. Another thing I got was this mold. And I, I like the feel of it. It seems to be a really sturdy, good quality. 
It is four and a half inches by four and three quarters inches. Let me turn that so you can see it. This particular mold is four and one half inches by four and three quarters inches. It costs $2.88, and I think it's a great bargain. It's going to be great for paper crafting, bringing my thrifted frames to another level, and who knows, there are so many things I could use it for. The next thing I got was a couple of florals because I wanted to try them out. Y'all know I use a lot of flowers because I make a lot of wreaths and in the spring, I just can't get enough flowers. So I wanted to try them out and check out the quality. They come packaged like this and there are three of them in that container. There are five pieces on each one of those. So that's really neat. The color is very nice. It is plastic. It's not um like a fabric type flower. It is plastic, but just lovely. I think it's going to be great to place outside. The strand from end to end, if you take the longest measurement to the very tip here, is about 14 inches. So you can place it down in a vase. You've got room to stick it into a grapevine wreath. You can cut it apart and use each piece because each one of these has at least three sticking off of it. So lots of things you can do with this. It's $7.48 for two sets. So I got all of this for $7.48. That is not bad, y'all. That is not bad at all. And I am looking forward to showing these to you in a later video. The last item I got in my haul was this greenery. That is just lovely, y'all. It looks a lot like eucalyptus and it is plastic. It's not um, vinyl or anything, but it's very pretty, very soft green. $2.08 for this package that has 12 pieces. There are 12 individual pieces here. And it was such a good price, I got two packages of the 12. So $2.08 and you have 12 individual pieces. And that's all I have in my haul. Trish has some items she's going to be showing you, but we're both really excited about our items from Timu and we are so excited that they gifted them to us. So you're going to see them and we're going to be saying that a lot in future videos as well. Thank you for stopping by our channel today. If you are new here, we hope that you will subscribe by clicking on the little button below. Make sure you ring the bell so you will be notified every time we upload new content. We upload new videos each week offering a variety of DIYs, trash to treasure projects, and tips, tricks, and hacks. We just know you'll find something you like with Crafting Cousins. Hey y'all, I'm Trish with Crafting Cousins. You just saw what Kay got from Timu and now I'm going to share with you what I got. This is actually my second time working with Timu. The first time I ordered from them, I used my own money and I bought items so that I could see what their quality was and if I believed in them enough to recommend them to you. And I was really happy with what I got. I even tested out some of their products in a video we did last week and everything worked great. I'll put a link to that down below if you'd like to go back and see it. So we decided to work with them. We have made an order and now I'm going to show you what I got. But before I do that, let me remind you that we will have a link down in the description box below. If you click on that, it'll take you straight to Timu and it's going to show you the items that we ordered from them. So you can order from our picks or you can order from any of the hundreds of items that they have on their website. They have categories splitting things up. They have fashion, they have arts and crafts, pretty much anything you can think of they sell over at Timu. I'm also going to have a code for you, MAKE534. If you use that code, you will get 30% off your first order. So now let's get to see what I got. So we'll put on our glasses so I can see and be able to tell you how much I paid for everything. The first item I got is this wood graining rubber stamp. These are so cool. You can use these on your projects. If you're painting something and you want it to look like it's got a wood grain, you paint it with chalk paint. Then you can put either chalk paint or stain over it. And you use this tool and pull across it and it gives it a wood grain look. Now, I paid $3.59 for this product, so I think that's a great deal. I have looked at them in the hardware store, and they cost way more than that, so I can't wait to see how this works. 
The next item I got was these rose papers. It calls it background paper on the back of this. They are absolutely gorgeous. It is more like a vellum. It feels pretty thick and you can you can almost see through it. It's not transparent, but like I can see my thumb behind it if I look closely where I'm holding it. Um, it was $1.79 for 15 sheets. And these are about five and a quarter inches square. So you get a pretty good size for these. And I absolutely love how they look. They even have a gold inlay on them and you can almost feel it. This is a really high quality paper. I can't wait to use it. Next item I have is a stamp. This is an alphabet stamp or a font stamp. It is all of your alphabets in capital letters. It was $1.99. It feels like it's a good quality. I got this so that I can use it to do lettering on my projects. And if you don't have a cutting machine, this is a great way to do it. You can use resin or if you don't want to use resin, you could even fill this with hot glue and let it cool. And then when you pop these out, you can paint over them, glue them onto your projects. And that's a great way of doing lettering. The next item I got is this sheet of faux leather. Now, it's a little wrinkled, but it feels like it's a really good quality. It really couldn't help but get wrinkled when you're in a box with a whole bunch of other stuff. You know, that's going to happen, but I still think it's going to work great on my projects. It was only $1.29 for this sheet of faux leather. Next, I have a pack of these clear jelly beads. Now, there's probably about a thousand of them in here, and I know they don't look very big. It's kind of hard to tell what they are. I'm not going to open them because if I poured them out, they would be everywhere. These are the kind of beads that you put in a vase and you add water to, and they soak up the water and they plump up and they're great to put plants in but if you saw any of the crafting videos over the christmas holiday people were putting like little knickknacks inside the vase and then adding these and water and when they plumped up they disappeared in the water and your items that you put in were suspended and it looked like that they were just suspended in water so i have an idea for something to do like this for spring so i got a pack so we can try it now, the next item I got, I actually got two packs of them because I go through these a lot. I mean, you guys know how much we paint, and I am not the most gentle with my paint brushes. So, I thought getting two packs of these would be to my benefit. There are 10 paint brushes in each pack, and they were $2.57 per pack. Now, I also got this pack of paint brushes. This is a higher quality um, paint brush and it has different sizes in it rather than just the one size and i wanted to try these out this one was a little more expensive it was four dollars and 98 cent but you get some really nice brushes in here so this is actually a really good price for what you're getting this next item i'm going to show you guys was four dollars and 98 cent these are the kind of rulers that you use whenever you're doing placement on a t-shirt when you're going to be adding vinyl or a sublimation design it shows you exactly where your center is and it gives you the perfect placement going down your shirt so you know how far down you need to go now they have an adult they have a youth they have a child's um in the front They've got a v-neck front, they've got the back for the adult, youth, and child, and they've got a v-neck back. So you get eight of the rulers, and then you also get a soft ruler that you can use to do your measurements as well. I think this is a great price. I have been looking at these for a while, and this is the best price that I have found on them. The next item I have are these thank you stickers. We have an Etsy shop and I send out packages and I always like to put a thank you sticker on there. I think that it's just a nice way of saying thank you and y'all know we love flowers. So these fit me perfectly and this was a great deal. I got 500 of these stickers for $1.79. Now next I have acrylic paint markers. I love using markers anytime I can. I just feel like I have more control with them than I do when I use paint and a brush. So I love using markers and I wanted to try these out. Get 12 different colors and they were $8.49. 
Now, this is something that I've been wanting to try for a while with my husband. This is the kit where you can do the hand casting, where you make the mold with your hands held together, and then once the mold sets up, you pour the resin in it, and it sets up and makes like a little statue. Now, this one was $4.99. It has everything inside that you need to be able to do your casting, and I can't wait to do this with my husband and see how it turns out. I think this is going to be a beautiful keepsake for us. Now my next item is a garland. It has all these pretty little roses on it in dark pink and light pink. It is so pretty you guys and it was $1.98. Now when I ordered this I had the thought to wrap it around a wreath form and let it be a wreath but it's so pretty that I may just end up using it as a garland on my fireplace mantle. I'm not sure which way I'm going to go with it yet, but it has a lot of options. This is actually very nice quality, especially for $1.98. I may end up ordering some more of these. They had them in different colors, and I just think that it's really pretty. Now, my next flower order are these pink roses. You get six of them. They're a nice quality. I can't decide what kind of fabric this is. It's almost like a paper, but it's thicker. It doesn't tear like paper. I think this will be really pretty on a wreath, or even you could take them and use them as part of a bouquet for spring, and that would be pretty as well. The six flowers were $4.98. Now, the last of the flowers I got, you actually got two bouquets. You got the light pink and the dark pink, and it was $5.08. This is like peonies. I think these are so pretty. And then this has a variety of flowers in it. The, they call it a dark pink. To me, it kind of looks almost like a peach color. I think they're going to be beautiful for my spring projects. The next item I have is some macrame cord. This was $2.90 six cent it's in ivory white and you can see that you get a pretty thick roll of it so i think that this was a good deal as well my next item is actually a two-part item i got this little punch this is a hole punch it makes like six holes in your paper and it's four spiral ring binders the binders that you put on the um, spine of your notebooks and it was four dollars and 89 cent for the little punch it does look small but it has a piece here so that you can line it up so that you can keep moving your paper down and make sure that your holes are in the right place for your coil binders so since i got this i also ordered some of the coils you get five of the coils for a dollar 79 um they are quite long so if you're not making really big notebooks you could cut these down and get even more for your money now we're going to move into the ribbon this is a chiffon ribbon that has like a frayed edge it's a peachy pink color and i think it is absolutely beautiful i wanted this to use um like for binding on junk journals or to use as a closure to be able to tie them off and i think this is going to be so pretty it is a lot of ribbon you get a ton of this and it was two dollars and 48 cent now speaking of ribbon i also got some of this ribbon it was two dollars and 66 cent but you get three different colors you get this pink that has the roses on it you get the blue that has little roses on it and then you also get white with little roses on it. And you get, I think it said six foot of this ribbon. There's a lot of it here. I think this was a really good deal for $2.66, especially since you're getting the three different kinds in the pack. Now, next, I've got these little organza bags. This is what they look like. Um, I love using these when I sell keychains or necklaces or anything like that i like putting them in these little organza bags and closing them up to me it just makes a better presentation whenever you're giving it to whoever purchased it and you get 20 of these bags for a dollar 79 now that is a great deal because i normally buy these bags from hobby lobby and they cost a lot more than that so my next item i got are these little self-sealing bags 
They are clear and they have these pretty little pink flowers on them. I think these would be great to put jewelry in if you're selling keychains or necklaces or even earrings. This would be a good size for that. This would also be really nice if you're doing like a bead exchange. If you have a craft exchange group and you're sending beads to each other or you're sending ephemera. If it's small ephemera, it could fit in here. These are just so cute. It makes such a nice presentation and you get a hundred of these bags for 79 cents. Now, my next item is chains. These are silver chains. They're really nice. They have the frog clasp on them. You get six of them for $1.79. There's lots of things that you can do with chains. And I think $1.79 for chains that already have the clasp on them is a really good deal. So we only have three more items left. And my next item is an embossing folder. This is what the pattern looks like that it embosses on your paper. And it was $2.19, which is a really good deal for an embossing folder. I normally get mine at Joann's when they're on sale and they still cost more than $2.19. And this one is about five by seven. So this is a nice size for an embossing folder as well. So the last crafting item I got in mine was my highest priced item, but it's well worth it. I paid $18.98 and I got this mini rotary tool. It's similar to a Dremel. It has the USB charger and it has a whole bag of accessories. It has a tool in there to change them out. It has all of these little sanding pieces. It's got the sponges. It's got brushes. I'm going to be able to do all kinds of things with this. I have wanted a rotary tool for a long time, but I didn't want to pay $50 for it. So I was excited that I was able to get this one for less than 20. Now the last item I got in my haul was a personal item. This is something that I got just for me. My hair holds so much water when I get out of the shower and I always end up using two towels and I hate doing that. So I have been wanting one of these head towels for the longest time and I got this one for $2.98. Look how cute it is. It even has ears. Y'all, I used to collect pigs. I think this is absolutely precious with the little ears. I love how soft it is. It is so unbelievably soft. It's got the button where you can twist your hair around. You bring it and um, attach it to the button. And I can't wait to be able to use this. I almost came and took it out of my haul this morning when I washed my hair to be able to use. But I talked myself out of it. I decided I would show it to you guys before I got it all wet. So that's it for my part of the haul. I am so excited about these items that I got and I can't wait to use them. I'm going to have a video coming out this Thursday that's going to be a crafting video where I will be using items that you saw in my haul today. So I hope that you will join us then and see what I make with some of these things. If you want to order from Timu, don't forget that we will have a link down below that will take you to a curated site that's going to show you what we purchase. So if there's any of that that you want to purchase, you'll be able to find it there as well as shop the hundreds of other items they have from clothing to craft supplies to kitchen supplies, you name it. There will also be a code down below, make 534 that you can use to get 30% off of your first order. Thanks so much for joining us, you guys. We will see you on Thursday. Bye. Thank you so much for watching today. If you saw something you liked, we hope you'll give us a big thumbs up. Leave us a comment and let us know what you think and if you have any suggestions. We just love hearing from y'all and it really does help our channel grow. We are also over on TikTok, Instagram, Facebook, and Pinterest and would love it if you would click the link below and join us over there as well. If you enjoyed this episode, check out these videos for even more DIY inspiration. Bye, y'all!